a private-public partnership between the Victorian government and Aquasure. The Victorian desalination plant in Wanthagi represents the largest public sector investment in water infrastructure in Australia's history. Using reverse osmosis technology to separate salt from seawater to create high-quality drinking water, the project underpins water security for Melbourne and surrounding regions. The design brief was to replicate what should have been growing there prior to human habitation on this ecologically sensitive coastal area. Since the dunes were missing, ARM architecture surrounded the plant with new ones to help conceal it visually and acoustically. Requiring a design which made the structure barely visible from all public viewing points, the plant is covered with a 27,000 square meter living tapestry of indigenous plants, making it the largest green roof in the Southern Hemisphere. And the 225 hectare site will become a revegetated native parkland and ecological preserve. The landscape architecture firm of Aspect Studios shows native species tolerant of high heat, salt drift, drought, and wind. Around 110,000 tube stalks of indigenous ground covers, sedges, lilies, succulents, and non-wood shrubs were used. They say the project uses only on-site water capture and has returned local fauna, including endangered species and internationally significant migratory birds. Amenities within the ecological reserve include eight kilometers of pedestrian, cyclist, and equestrian trails, wayfinding and interpretation including indigenous history of the Bunurong, Bunurong people of the Kulin Nation, their uses of the land, and the effects of European settlement, boardwalks for discovering bird hides, viewing decks, and picnic shelters. The site and scale of the green roof presented a number of challenges, and the slopes vary considerably from 1 to 22 percent. Designer and installer Fighter Green Australia maintained several test beds at various slopes during the research phase. The waterproofing membrane had to allow for potential movement from kilometers of joints, and the Sika Sarnafil system was chosen. A project of formidable scale, the Victorian desalination plant is part water treatment infrastructure and part environmental restoration. Its sensitive combination of living architecture and green infrastructure transforms degraded land into mosaics of coastal and swampy woodlands, wetlands, and dune ecologies. For more information about this project and many more, explore the International Green Roof and Green Wall Projects database at greenroofs.com and join our mailing list so you don't miss out on any of the Green Roof and Green Wall news and upcoming projects of the week.